Wag yung kayo magkadisgrasyahan tayo niya. Sinasabi ko yung magdidisgrasya kayo. At madidisgrasya kayo. Hindi ako urong dito. And I said, I would stake my honor, my life, and even the presidency. Sergeant Benjel O. Halabaso. Sergeant Wilfredo G. Rapatan. And Corporal Nasir A. Furok. By command of Major General Farnasio, Official Colonel Perfecto P. Piña Ridondo, General Staff Corps Infantry Philippine Army, Master in National Security Administration, Chief of Staff, Signed Major Roy T. Nuis, Field Artillery Philippine Army, the Division Adjutant. Headquarters, 8th Infantry Stormtroopers Division, Philippine Army, Camp General Vicente Lokban, Katbalugan City, Samar. Dated 6 August 2018. General Orders No. 316. For heroistic achievements as members of Scout Platoon, 28th Infantry Willied Battalion, 8th Infantry Stormtroopers Division, Philippine Army, during the conduct of security operation on 18 December 2017, and encountered undetermined number of terrorist NPAs at Barangay Hinagunayan, Katubig, Northern Samar, which resulted to the recovery of one in 16 rifle with one magazine, the award of Military Merit Medal with Bronze Spearhead Device is hereby awarded to the following name enlisted personnel. Staff Sergeant Arman C. Sibiliano. Corporal Sirwin E. Ambal.
PFC Ramil Imanguba. PFC Brian E. Fabillar. And PFC Mark John M. Singo. By command of Major General Paranasio, Official Colonel Perpicto P. P. Nyaridondo, General Staff Corps Infantry Philippine Army, Master in National Security Administration, Chief of Staff, Signed Major Roy T. Nues, Field Artillery Philippine Army, the Division Adjutant. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, gentlemen. At this juncture, may we call on Under Secretary Artur Tabaquero to introduce the guest of honor. Mga magigiting at disiplinadong sundalo ng 803rd Peacemaker Brigade, ikinagagalak kong ipakilala sa inyo ang ating pinakamamahal na presidente, Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Thank you. Uh, CEO, uh, could you give the tikas pahinga? Secretary Bernadette Romulo Puyat, Presidential Advisor for Military Affairs, Arthur Tabaquero, Under Secretary Rinaldo Mapago, Major General Raul Fornacio, Brigadier General Ramil Bitong, the officers enlisted personnel of this 803rd Infantry Peacemaker Brigade. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have here about two pages. But uh, I would like to just say a few words. Uh, yung, uh, I hope you have received by this time or uh, shortly. Dumating na kasi yung block. So everybody in due time will have a sidearm. Uh, sa police, the sidearm is the primary weapon. Your primary weapon is your rifle, the M16 uh, issued. But you are not given uh, sidearms. Now, the reason why I decided to give each and every one of you costing billions is because you go out of your house or your camp almost naked. Takhubad. And uh, yung iba naman, pinapatay, paski may armas, yung iba naman, may armas. Kaya mabuti na niyang patayan ka na may armas kapag laban ka pa. The problem is one. The reason is, uh, hindi masyado dito, but uh, believe ko yan, no? five star. Uh, ang ayan ba? Di wag ikaw katapos yung R2TC. Ni Tansan, wala ko yung medalya, mga iba ni ilaw. Well, anyway, uh, southern uh, guys there assigned. Polo, Sulo, uh, little uh, mga parts of Tawi-Tawi. Alam mo kasi, yung may isang incident o dalawa na ubusan ng bala ang Sundalo. So, he was captured, tapos ginawa silang treated like dogs in the camp, magmasahe kung ano ang ginagawa. Tapos, at the end of the day, iharap dyan sa kamera, 
Tapos asahin yung ulo, tapos luglugin. Sabi ko, hindi ko kaya itong harapin na ganito. Sabi ko, kailangan na mabigyan ng panlaban. So, three magasin yan. One is deployed, the other two is here. So, yung dalawang magasin ninyo, which is not the usual case here. Uh, doon lang sa Southern Mindanao. Eh, pag naubusan kayo ng bala, wala namang fixed bayonet ngayon, di, ubusin mo yung dalawang magasin. Pag naubos mo yung dalawang magasin, tandaan mo yung karga mo. It's about only seven. Standard yan sa government model called. O baske na yung shorter siguro kung ba't commander na ibigay sa inyo. It's shorter barrel. But it, uh, it has only about seven. Pag naubusan kayo ng bala, yung kalahate, tatlo, barrel mo sa kalaban mo. Tapos pag na-corner ka na, kainin mo yung barrel ng barrel mo at tudasin mo na, na ang sarili mo. Huwag kang mag-surrender at the end of the day, makita ko na lang na pinuputol yung ulo mo. Mamamatay ako sa konsumisyon yan. So, if you are a soldier, ayan, kung sunurin mo lang, kung ayaw mo, huwag, wala, hindi naman ako. Pero basta, yan, binili ko yan, with the purpose in mind, kainin mo na lang. Total, ayan, ang marinig mo dyan, yung putok, wala na. Ngayon, ang problema, kaya ako rin nandito is uh, ang sparrow dalo na summer heavily in ano talaga kayo contaminated dito sa NPA. Totoo yan. Kaya ang briefing namin, yung briefer, ngayon lang ako nakita ng briefer na para sa akin, gabi-gabi, basa kung ano ang bukas ko nakalagay doon uh, Itong area na ito is a critical area. Bring your gun. Kung na, ano pa lang ginagawa ng sundalo doon? Nila ako makubiran. Doon ako sa gitna. Uh, sabi nila, uh, alam mo sir, uh, pero sa totoo nilang kaya man natin. Uh, sa karami natin, hindi uh, mo ginagamit yung air force mo. No? Uh, pagdating pa noong mga attack helicopter natin. Kasi baski wala yan, tao por tao. Kaya natin yan sila. Kaya lang, ito ngayon may baril na kayo, may percentage talaga dyan na may sparo. Ang advice ko, paglabas mo ng kampo o paglabas mo ng bahay, meron naman kayong mga cellphone. Kung naman ang picture. Maligo ka na, kain. Paglabas mo, tignan mo ulit yung picture, tapos tignan mo yung sa labas. Yung unang picture mo, yung tao doon nakaupo pa rin sa tindahan, yung garilyo, mabantay ka na niyan. But usually, ang NPA, ang unang magdaan sa iyo, hindi yan. Ang magsunod, ang second wave, yan yan, tawagan niya, yan yan target. I-co-confirm niya. Yan talaga ang classic uh, sparrow. O kaya nakita mo talaga na nakaano ka na, Kabaril ka na, kaya niporme ka. Kaya eh, dito sa critical areas. Body-body lang, tapos medyo malayo ng kunti. O may isa civilian. Total, body-body mga yun. Yung part, labas muna tayo. Mag-civilian yung isa, tapos mag-distansya lang. May tama man siguro kayo, pero katigas ninyo. Mga mukha talaga, fighter. Kaya ninyo, baliktad rin ninyo yung story na tayo ang namamatay. Or, beef up mo yung intelligence. 
Tapos pag na-target na ninyo, di sila ang isparuhin ninyo. Lumabas kayo para patayin sila. Ganun lang man yan. Kung maglabas kayo, patayin kayo, mag-build up kayo ng intelligence na paglabas nila, patayin mo rin sila. That's the only rule of the game. Wala, pag, sigurado yan, pagbagsak niya, pag ganun mo niyan, may 45 yan. 9mm, karamihan yan, kuha nila sa mga sundalo. So basahin ko na lang, kasi kahiya naman yung nagawa nito. Nung doon no, nakasimangot sa likod, oh. yung nakatalikod. Hoy, ka, hoy Major, Mapa, si Major Kone, police rin yan. Ang asawa niyan, police, pinatay ng NPA. Mag magpakilala ka. Takot ka man siguro maligawan ng sundalo. Biyuda ka na bitaw. Bikulano yan. I am pleased to be with you today to personally greet this 803rd Brigade of the Philippine Army for their relentless efforts to maintain law and order as well as protect and life and live welfare of our people in Northern Samal, the first district of Samar province. Today, we recognize the Brigade's accomplishments against the communist terrorists and their contributions in the campaign against illegal drugs. You have indeed served the country well with your recent achievements. Saludo ako sa inyo. From January to September to this year, the 803rd Brigade conducted internal security operations resulting in the apprehension and surrender of NPEG members, also noteworthy is their prompt and efficient disaster response in times of calamities. As I have promised before you, our soldiers and policemen who risk their lives for our country and democracy, I have your backs. Just continue performing your duties well, and you can be assured that we honor our, our courage, your courage and dedication. This administration will take care of you and your families by providing you with the necessary and financial assistance. Ang practice ko, kung sakali lang, ganun naman ang buhay. Lahat ng byuda, may trabaho talaga yan. Automatic yan. Pagbisita ko sa, kung sa pamilya, may trabaho na yan. At uh, yung mga anak ninyo, talibre namang edukasyon, kunting ano na lang, tulak para sa mga baon-baon allowances. Uh, we will uh, protect you and your children. Sana huwag naman mangyari, sell down naman yan, pambuhay naman talaga destiny. Just work well, be cunning, be smart, and do not be afraid of problems. Ako ang bahala. Hanggang ako pa ang nakaupo dito sa yan sa Pasig. Hindi ko kayo po babayaan. And we will never uh, have uh, any worry at all. Inyo trabaho lang. Rest assured that you're working towards strengthening the defense capabilities of the military and police. For your brigade, we have provided additional transport vehicles and extended fund support for the enhancement of the road in the camp, the administration building, and the 8 ID liaison office building. I am pleased to know that you have neutralized and apprehended numerous enemies of the state. I reiterate this administration call for the communist terrorists to abandon their extremist activities and return to the fold of the law. In fact, today some of them will receive financial assistance under the Enhanced Comprehensive Local Integration Program. This is just one of the several programs to help them on the reintegration into our communities. Kaya na muna ninyo ako, kasi ako talaga naghanap ng solusyon. In the first place, may gira. So, given yan. Pero kung sabihin mo na ligaya ako ng kamatayan tayo puro Pilipino, so I'm just going around the country pleading for peace. But I do not want my soldiers to be sitting ducks. 
Hindi naman pwede na peaceful peaceful ka dyan. Mamamatay na yung mga sudalo mo. But uh, alam mo ang sekreto dito, maniwala ko ito hindi. This has been going on for 53 years. Going 53. At I was around when season was yung bugiro na season and he was talking about revolution. Yan. Alam mo, bata pa kasi kami noon eh. So I, 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 uh, I, I was his apostle actually. Uh, the reason is family history na yan. May grants lang kami taga Cebu na na ko Mindanao tapos we had to migrate to Mindanao. Alam namin ang hirap. Dumaan. Lahat yung pumunta ng Mindanao dumaan ang hirap yan. Wala namang subdivision, walang daan doon noon. So, that is why you try to think that uh, mas mabuti. Apurado ka eh. That's the problem. That's the impulse of, uh, ano, apurado. You want it revolution. Hindi madala. It's evolution. Hayaan mo lang. Huwag grow yan magnegosyo. As long as it is peaceful, it will grow faster. Eh, ang problema... Dreaming itong mga NPA na kung ano-ano. Siguro another one na nandiyan. Sabi ko nga doon siya nag-surrender. Wala, not in a million years na natibig na ako ng NPA. Wala, not in a million years na natibig na ako ng NPA. Wala, not in a million years na natibig na ako ng NPA. Pwede magdaan nyo, terrorize. Ano ang, what have you accomplished? Kasi nandiyan ang media. O, di ba marinig nila, anong, 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 anong na, Anong natapos ninyo? Anong nagawa niyo para sa Pilipinas for 53 years? Patayan, civilian, military, police, barangay captains, karamihan, patay. Yung ayaw magbigay ng taxation, sinusunog ninyo yung propiedad. In the 52 years, wala kayong ginawa kung hindi yan. Hindi pa kayong nagsawa. Hindi naman kayo manalo. Kaya kayo, kung uh, I would like to, uh, hey, kunti, we are not into a crime prevention. Uh, pati yung police kasali na, it's neutralization ang atin. Then, we can solve the problem. Neutralization na tayo nga, wala nang ano, basta ganito, walang... There is no crime prevention because the crime is being perpetrated 24 hours a day. So, hindi mo kailangan magtanong pa kung may warrant, warrant dyan. Pag may dala ka ng baril dyan, isparo ka, you can be neutralized. Huwag muna akong bigyan ng bullshit na mga rumang warrant, warrant. May warrant, warrant. Buti sana kung nagnakaw yan, patapos bukang, iba na namang ginakaw. Taibingan mo. Pero ang NPA, once he starts to join, babae o lalaki, may dala ng armas, diretso-diretso na yan. They are committing the, the crime of rebellion 24 hours a day. Naghanap lang yan ng inkwentro. So I do not want to give that advice to my soldiers. Pero, uh, kasi ba, walang kasalanan to, ah, putang ina. Siguraduhan mo lang, the best way is intelligence. Magbuhos kayo ng intelligence. Then pag nakuha nyo, it's neutralization. I will be criticized, but uh, I'm telling you, I am guiding you what is practical and what is true and legal. Legal yan. Terrorism and illegal drug trade continue to remain the peace and to threaten the peace and stability of our nation, thereby affecting our economy and even the moral fiber of our society. This administration and the entire Filipino nation rely on the heroic dedication of our soldiers and policemen to ensure that the nation and its interests are secured. Together, let us work hard in ensuring that our people will have the peaceful and prosperous future they richly deserve. Alam ko, kami yung presidente, ganun ang ending. Always ang dreaming na bang itong bayan ko sana maging peaceful. Pero matagal na ito, I said, 43 years. So, in the last 
Kano ko sa ka diyan sa opisina ko. Balik pa correct natin yan, ano? Neutralization tayo. Pag lumaban at uh, tingin mo buhay mo nakakasana, shoot first. Yan ang utos ko. Huwag kang mag-alaala. Pag yan ang circumstances, nandyan ako sa iyo. At hindi ako papayag makulong kayo sa isang araw. Naniwala kayo. Awa yan. Pilitin nila kayo ang ipriso. Ah, awa yan. Sabi ko yan ang utos ko. Kung unang mapriso ako, hindi yung sundalo ko. So yan ang utos ko. Neutralization. And that is the best way how to handle the problem now. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, sir. Please remain in your places for the photo opportunity with the President. Batch 1, 2, and 3, please be ready. May we now invite the Commander-in-Chief to please join the groups for the photo opportunity.
Thank you, sir. That ends our program today. Thank you, sir. That ends our program today. Thank you very much, sir. We are truly honored of this visit of our Commander-in-Chief, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte today. On behalf of the men and women of the 83rd Brigade, we would like to thank you, sir, for coming over to visit us despite your busy schedule. May we request everyone to remain at the, their position until the President has left the program area.